Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can transfer files from your Samsung Galaxy device over into your Samsung Gear S3. Now, when I talk about files, I'm talking about music as well as photos. And then right over here, you can see a good example of one of the reasons why you'd like to move over some images from the phone over into the watch. Now, the other thing you'd also be able to do is when you move over your music over to the watch, there is four gigs of internal storage on the watch itself. So if you wanna go running or go walking or do anything else, you don't have to bring your phone with you to listen to music. You can either have the music play from the speaker of the watch, or you can Bluetooth a headset to the watch itself. So what you wanna do is pull down the notifications panel and right there, I actually have the option here where it says the Samsung Gear S3. Now, if you don't have this little pop-up on the very top, cause maybe you did clear it, what you wanna do is go over into your Samsung folder and then click inside of the Samsung Gear Manager or the Samsung Gear application. Now inside of here, this is where you have the option where it says transfer content to gear. And then this is where you can choose either selecting the tracks or the photos. So let's might as well go over here and let's select on some tracks to move on over. Now, just to show you how many songs I do have on my watch, uh, there's actually only two. You have, what I have is a normal song right here that's called Brazil. Uh, and then I also have the Over the Horizon song that Samsung has, which means that there's so many other songs over here I don't have. So let's say I go to this Hold On, uh, let's go to Let Go, and let's do, and let's also do Up In It by Wiz Khalifa. So now once you already have these things paired through the Bluetooth, then you just wanna hit on done. And then once you choose on done, what you're gonna see on the very top is another little small icon, which looks like it's almost like a Wi-Fi signal and it has two different arrows. What that means is it's using Wi-Fi direct to transfer your content from your phone over into the watch. Now, Wi-Fi direct, you don't need to be connected to a Wi-Fi. You don't have to have any type of a service whatsoever. Wi-Fi direct is just like Bluetooth, but on steroids. Just like Bluetooth, you don't have to have your phone um, in any type of a service or having anything else. It's able to just work. Same thing here. Then you will get your little notification stating that you have some songs that just got transferred over into the music player. So let's move over into the MP3 player. So you can see here I use this a lot because this is actually only one little screen over from my main watch screen. Now, when you first look at these little icons on the very top right hand side of the watch, this right here is showing what is on the phone. And then when you click it one more time, it shows the little watch icon. That's going to be the songs that is on the watch. Now I'm gonna hit on the next song. You can see how it says, hold on. You can see, let go. You can also see up in it. And then also Brazil and then the over the horizon, which is the Samsung song. So you can see that all of them has transferred over correctly. And if you are listening to any of this music, then you can also hit on the volume and you can turn this up or down. So let's move over into sending photos. Now you're gonna notice that this is the exact same concept and it's using the exact same thing, which is Wi-Fi Direct. So you're gonna click on selecting photos and then let's say that I wanna go into the camera and let's look at this little picture of a BB-8. So I'm gonna go and hit on done. And so now what this is doing is it's setting up the Wi-Fi Direct again, and then it'll transfer this one image over into the watch. Now to check out the photo that you just sent over, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over here and if your watch doesn't really look exactly like this one, it's because I just updated this to the recent update for the Gear S3, which that will be an upcoming video showing you all the different changes, what happened. And I'm also gonna do a basics or a training of everything on how to use your Samsung Gear S3. So I'm gonna click on a little settings icon and you just wanna go through until you see the gallery. Once you choose gallery, now you're able to see that image that you sent over. So now you can use this as maybe just showing off photos with your friends, or you can use it as a background image when you're choosing your little watch face on the very back. Now, if you want to learn how I have this image right here as my little watch face, I'll be able to do a video in the future showing you exactly how I was able to do that. Now heading over into the application over here for when you're sending over content to the watch is you have an option here for auto sync. Now you do have a option for auto sync for music as well as photos, but it's not going to send over every single photo or music. In terms of music, you're able to choose the playlist you want it to sync over to the watch. So if you make a particular playlist on your phone, then only those songs in the playlist will sync over into the watch. And then you also will do the same thing over here with photos and you can choose which album is going to move over. So you can keep it as the camera, but because this only has four gigs of internal storage, what I would suggest is not really making a folder or making a playlist, just 
send everything over individually so you can always manage, you can add and also delete different songs if you want to. So I hope that this video has helped you guys out. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also go below the video, click on subscribe if you are not subscribed already so you can see more videos like this. Or you can hit on this little red button right over here. You can hit subscribe that way. And make sure you guys share this video with your friends and family. Outside of that, I will see you guys later. Bye.